A worldwide drug treatment program that has denied its affiliation with the Church of Scientology faces new scrutiny tonight. Channel 2 Action News has uncovered documents that tie Narconon of Georgia to the controversial church. In part three of our investigation, Jody Fleischer here with what the program fought for years to keep secret. Justin, the records show the Georgia program director knew staff were drinking and doing drugs with patients, but whistleblowers tell us the focus was on image, not on fixing the problems, and that the church really uses Narconon to make money and recruit vulnerable addicts into Scientology. Is it what it pretends to be? Absolutely not. Lucas Catton says he knows the Narconon drug treatment program better than almost anyone. He went through it as a student, then rose to become president of the flagship Arrowhead facility in Oklahoma. Narconon is essentially, it is Scientology. From the start, patients are given mega doses of vitamins like niacin. So much the state requires they sign a consent form acknowledging health risks. Addicts spend roughly five hours a day in a sauna intended to rid their body of drug toxins. And they study communication techniques written by Church of Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. They did weird things. You had to get to different levels. Colleen Desmond is suing Narconon of Georgia after her son Patrick died while enrolled there. Records show he got drunk with his housing monitor, then used heroin for the first time. Her attorney questioned Narconon's medical director under oath. Did you know you were listed as their medical director? I'm not really, I don't know. All I know is that I was uh, hired by them to do the physicals on their patients. Did you ever visit the sauna? No. Did you ever visit the Narconon facility? No. There's no truth to say except we're helping people. But Narconon's yeah, executive yeah, director, Mary Reeser, knew of problems. Of in this internal memo, she wrote about a bad situation at housing, and she felt the students were in danger. It was pretty common knowledge that the Narconon here in Georgia was very disorganized, that there, there was a higher incidence rate of drug and alcohol use within the facility by the students. Within days after Patrick's death, a memo was sent from Narconon of Georgia to the OSA, which is the Church of Scientology. I have arranged for a minister to come. He is not going to flap PR-wise, wrote Reeser. Catton says that means wouldn't create a public relations problem. That's not just the connection, that it is a direct channel. I've never seen anything like this public before, now. I am a Scientologist. Okay, that's my church. But they don't have, um, they don't manage here. You sent this letter to the National Church advising them of Patrick's death within the days after his death. Why? Well, I'm not going to speak to why I did that, but that's not a governing body for me. And if I, you know, that is my church. So I don't know if I've been a Baptist, I might have told my church. Why don't they just say this is Scientology? Because people won't come um, and there's, there's not enough money in it. So if you try and legitimize it in the public eye as much as possible, then it is easier to be able to get more money. More recruits. He says the church gives recruits who've gone through Narconon credit for the communication and sauna sessions they've already finished. Patrick's mom says she had no idea. How could they do that to young people? How could they do that to families? Addicts and their families have told us they paid between fifteen and thirty thousand dollars. Catton left the Church of Scientology and his job with Narconon more than a year ago. He says when he was there, the U.S. program was bringing in about a million dollars a week in revenue. Justin. Oh, that is something. And Jody, did he say that as a result of your investigation, he expects any changes? Well, you know, he didn't know for sure because he's out of the church now. But I can tell you, we have already noticed Narconon International changed its website since our story started airing. The state is also considering some changes. I'll have much more on all of that coming up tonight at 6. And it just keeps going, Jody. Thank you very much. Be sure to visit WSBTV.com. Click on the Two Investigates page under the News tab. And there you will find other stories from this week on Narconon and the pictures of the man who died in treatment.